And welcome back to Kauffman Stadium. A's leading the Royals 9-0, but a special night here, Breast Cancer Awareness Night, and Leslie Gordon, Alex's mom, throwing out the first pitch to her son, Alex. So pretty awesome stuff there. And we are excited right now, anytime that Leslie comes in from Lincoln to be able to visit with her. And, and Derek is right here too. All those, all those Gordon boys look the same. This one's the pitcher though. Alex is out there. All right, Leslie, tell us about that first pitch. Obviously very meaningful to be out here. And, and it was rained out earlier in the year. I remember you were a little bit nervous about it. Uh, how about tonight? Um, well, I was kind of nervous on the way down. How he said, you're not talking to me. And I said, well, I'm kind of nervous. But, you know, he said, you know, it doesn't matter because you're out here and your family and your friends are here and, and you get to throw to Alex, so it doesn't matter. And I think I actually got it to him, so I'm okay. Good. And, and I mean, you've got a hitting son. You've got a pitching son. I mean, you can get lessons, right? I, I, you know, I did. I, Derek helped me a little bit. Eric helped me a little bit. And so I was good. And I've done it before, so. This is, this is part of the benefits of being a mother of, of four boys. You've got a lot of... A lot of good instruction there, but beyond the, the joking around and the fun and all of that, th this was for obviously a very important cause and one that's close to your heart. Oh, well, absolutely, and the women here that were uh, honored tonight, are, they're brave souls, and, and we are so glad that there's so many survivors here in this uh, disease, and I'm proud of Alex and Jamie for all they do with all of the cancer awareness, particularly pediatric cancer that they sponsor and raise funds and awareness for pediatric cancer. And great to be here tonight with all these other women that are so brave. Yeah, I mean, Alex and Jamie, we, we hear it and talk about it every year, their involvement with Alex's lemonade stand and, and many other causes too. And then for you, twice a cancer survivor and breast cancer survivor, just to be able to talk with so many of those women, you talk about the brave women, there are a lot of them, are a lot of them here tonight. What did it mean to you just to be able to, to converse with them, to talk with them, maybe share some stories and hope with them? Well. Um, particularly the woman that uh, was our honorary bat woman tonight or bat person she she's a remarkable story and um, we all want to pray for her and her recovery and and it takes a lot of strength and a lot of will and it's and I'm, I'm proud of her for her strength and a lot of these women have, have been through a tough journey and they're all here to 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 be witness the fact that uh, that we can beat this disease and you have to keep hoping that we will and so proud of all of them and pray for all of them I think sometimes we get so wrapped up in this game, which could be a good thing too. It's an incredible distraction, brings so much joy to, to people that are sick. We hear from people all the time that, that want to be able to, in that hospital, turn on the TV and, and watch the Royals winning and the, and the World Championship. At, at the same time, what you dealt with, what these women are dealing with is, is life and death. I mean, these are the true heroes, right? Well, yeah, absolutely. And yet life is, is, there are these moments when we can all share that happiness because that's what we all want. and. Um, just, just to be here, to be a part of this is, is, a, is, is a blessing. So I'm very grateful to be here and be able to share these times. And what does it mean too? I mean, any time that an athlete has as, as big a recognition in the community, in a region like Alex does, they, they have a platform. And so in extension, you get that platform too. It's not just, hey, here, here is this brave cancer survivor. It is that, that's Alex Gordon's mom. And, and I know how proud you are of all four of your boys, but just to be able to have that platform, too. Yes, and I think that he does a great job of, of uh, reaching out to the community and giving back. And, and, I mean, isn't that what we're here about, is to make every day make somebody else's life better. And I think he does that. And all of these women here tonight try to do that as well by their witness and their courage. And I'm just proud to be a part of it. And I've got to imagine, too, that a lot of these women are big fans of your son because of what he's accomplished and well, last I checked all women are fans of him to be honest but <laughs> but but yeah here we go see I don't know if we can get that up here hold that up there I mean even even mom's got the the Alex Gordon whatever whatever you call that I, you know they're, they're the big head right um, but but I'm sure that that the incredible joy you have in watching the success of all of your kids in, in, in many different um, parts of life is incredible for you yes it is I, I mean I, I'm really no different than every other mother out there we we're all proud of our children um, and what they do and what they accomplish, no matter what stage it's on, whether it's on this one or someone somewhere else. It, we're all proud of what they do, and I guess that's being a mom. Absolutely, being a mom. Thanks for sharing, as you always do, with us and, and, and for getting out there and, and throwing out that first pitch.
uh, just real quick, Derek, Derek how, I mean, you're the pitcher for Wilmington. How did how did she do? How was the form? It was as good as we practiced. So she did everything she was supposed to. She looked good. Aim for, for the hat because obviously, Mom, you're not strong enough to get it over the plate. So aim for the hat because it's definitely going to go down. So I did that, and it was it was good advice. Good advice. It's our good advice, and, and our guys, by the way, in the truck are so quick that they already have Derek's numbers up from Wilmington this season. We had Jamie Cork on the other day, one of our good friends. He lives here, too. How was the year for you? Uh, it was pretty good the year. I learned a lot, especially from Jamie. I mean, like you said, he was an ex-royal, and he was a great guy. I mean, it was a learning experience, and I learned a lot, so that's all I can take away from Top you. step? Yeah. Uh, we won't talk about that. <laughs> you can ask Jamie about what he called me, but you can ask him what he called me. All right, Mom, don't get Derek in trouble here, right? Thanks a lot. It was a great, great night. Thanks so much. All right, always good to visit with Leslie Gordon. And to get, well, we've got a couple of the Gordon boys here. We've got Derek. And if you if you close your eyes or even if you look at him, you, you might as well feel like you're you're talking to Alex. He's got the beard going and might as well just be. Alex got rid of the beard the other day. So now we got the, the Alex lookalike. Guys, let's go back up to you. Great message from Leslie Gordon. Sure is. Oh, she is a sweet lady. Wow.